Do you like rivers? Yeah, rivers. It's a crazy, beautiful effect, right? Okay, now, if you know, in the underground metal scene, the vintage, the old, the 80s sound you can get is the better, right? Okay, and for achieve the kind of sound, reverb is one of the keys. And of course, there is another factor, like for example, if the band have the kind of sound, which preamp to use, how to use the mics, what kind of guitar tone you can get, you know? It's perfect, 1959. Uh... You know, it just, you can, uh, listen. How much is L this? Just listen for a minute. I'm the not, sustain, listen to it. I'm not hearing anything. You would, though, if it were playing. Because yeah. And reverb. And on today's video, I'm going to show you two reverb plugins to help you to achieve that sound, okay? One is very cheap. The other is cheap, too. Because if you compare, for example, with Lexicon <laughs> or Eventide, those are very expensive, even the plugins. The hardware units are way more, but way more expensive, okay? But I will show you two. One is around to, well, I bought that one around to eight bucks and the other is 50, okay? Just in case, not because you use a lot of reverb or one specific reverb, you will get that kind of sound. For example, Slayer. The first two albums have a lot of reverb, the Shona Mercy and Hello Ways. Me personally, Hello Ways is one of the best, okay? But the Raining Blood, the next album, if you listen very carefully, have almost zero. Ha okay, they in the album they have some reverb on the vocals, you know, in some parts, in some drum fields, yes. But if you compare the Hello Ways and the uh, Raining Blood, it's almost zero reverb. And the Raining Blood sounds really classic for now standards. So it's more like a matter of taste, okay? So let's jump to Pro Tools and then I will show you that. All right, kids, so we are here in front of Pro Tools and on today's band session is the same of uh, my last video, it's called Hobo Knife. I'm going to share the link of the description box, okay? And, and um, yep, these are the two players I will show you today. One is a Valhalla Vintage Bird and the other is the 9089 Bird, okay? This is around the box, yeah? And this is around 50 bucks. No, if 50 and 10 bucks, okay? Both are pretty cheap. But this is way more cheaper because it's like 10 bucks. All right, so let's see. The Bahala Vintage Bird. Just in case, I will not explain every single note what it does because this is going to take forever, okay? I mean, not so, let's face it, I'm not pretty cool explaining very technical things, okay? So, but I'm going to share another video. And that guy is gonna, is gonna play way better than me, trust me, okay? Because this video is gonna be take forever. So, the only knobs I use some, sometimes is a DK. The, the DK is the tail of the river, okay? The pretty, sometimes, very rarely, if I want to original sound a little bit in your face than the river, yeah. But that depends of, depends of the, project and what kind of band and what kind of music it is, okay? And these two guys is what I use a lot, the, the EQ, well, these two EQs, okay? This is more complex EQ, this is a filter. I use it, oh, I totally forgot. I have another video, is the Abbey Road River Technique, and that technique is pretty much focused on these two filters. So check it out that, I'm going to share that here, here, I don't remember where YouTube is gonna put it. But why I love this reverb? First of all, you can change the size of the interface. It's pretty cool, it's very handy when you have to see more than one plugin when you're mixing. This is pretty handy, like I said. And the other I really like is uh, the knobs. The knobs reminds me a lot of the boss spell knobs. And this one in particular, you have three colors. You have the 70s, the 80s, this two sounds pretty cool, okay? And now, now it's pretty much the same color sound of the regular stock reapplying as you have on your DLBWs, okay? Sometimes I use the 70s, but mm, 95% of the time I use the 80s. But 70s, yeah, sounds pretty cool too. Like let's see how it sounds, this guy. Oh, wait, I totally forgot. Now let's see the other one. This is way more easy to use, okay? 
and you have only the filters, the low pass, the high pass, the dry knob. I guess it's pretty much the same as the pretty delay and wet. 0%, 100%. Well, they they put this as DB, but it's pretty much that. And here you work mainly with presets, okay? What is the main difference in these two? Let me show you this. This guy is more... Hmm, more focused? No, 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 that's the wrong word. This is based on the old Lexicon's classic units, okay? And uh, this river is more like uh, the Yamaha XP X90 and the Alice Quadraver. Both are great. Actually, probably I want to buy one of those racks because they have a specific sound which you will not find in the different other, you know, rack units. But this is pretty close to that. Reminds me a lot to that dirty river sound. This is more fancy, but it's really cool too. It's super cool. I, re I, I really love it, okay? And believe it or not, back in the day, even at the high-end studios, those studios have these two units, okay? And yeah, and let's see how it sounds. Let's start with the Bahada Vintage Bird, okay? And I will change a little bit of the color and a little bit of the presets in rooms because because this is pretty much what I, what I use for drums, okay? Let's see, let's put this here. Okay, now let's see how the 9089 bird sound. And so this, for you see how this works. Okay, this is 100%, no pre delay, I mean, zero pre delay. And yeah, let's see, let's see this. Right now, let's see how the the Valhalla and the 9089 River sound on vocals only. Okay. Set up my prey at night, intoxicating. Your skin is just my type. Don't leave me waiting. Take and eat this, the fruit of your dreams. And if you find a taste, gorge yourself amid screams. Dog! Cadaver dog! 
Dark. <laughs> now let's see the 9089 verb. Set up my prey at night. Intoxicating. Your skin is just my type. Don't leave me waiting. Take and eat this, the fruit of your dreams. And if you find a taste, gorge yourself amid screams. All right, so far, both sounds pretty sick, right? But you know why I prefer the Valhalla? Hmm? You know why? Because of this. Let me show you this. As you see, in this project, well, in this example, I usually I only use these four plugins, which is the these two rivers. And on my main channel, I only use this compressor and the Fatso. Okay, but these two are coming for my polo. So in theory, these two plugins are not using the CPU. So only these guys are using the CPU. And believe it or not, these little guys consume a lot. Check this out. I want to vote. No, yeah, everything is gonna be inactivated. Okay, cool. The four plugins are not activated and the CPU is around 2020 jump a little bit well because the computer is working too you know right now it's around 17 80 20 cool what if if i only open the two bajadas activate jump around 40 almost 50 and then go back to 19 17 20 24 you know okay it's stable fine no wait round bottom here Inactivate both. But what if if I activate the 9089? No, Check this out. You see jumping over 50. Now check this out. I'm going to inactivate both and I want inactivate one. Do you see that? The other one? A hundred. You know what does that mean? This little guy consume a lot, but a lot of CPU. Another another example, okay? For example, let's do this together. Okay. Well, together is all pretty much the same, but you know where is gonna um, screw your session if you for example if you have an old computer or old PC or old Mac or iMac whatever you have a bunch of plugins mixing for a client and then you want to use this one it's gonna screw your whole session not screw it but it's gonna stop you and then you will know we continue smoothly with the session because this is the guy have have the problem you know and let me show you where, because you know, as you see, I, I don't have nothing here. I re I know I repeat myself a lot, but as you see, I, but as you see, I don't have nothing here. And let's go back to the drums, okay? Yeah, spew the vocals, spew the drums, just drums, and check this out, okay? So we have only available now the Bahala. Check this out.
that's the problem. I can use the, the huge river because that happened. And here I use the most, the most bigger prison, I mean, and still working smoothly and perfectly. That's the reason I prefer this one. Because, you know, not sometimes um, all my mixes is like a, a lot of plugins, all my hard work together as a unison, and then I can deal with these kind of things. I really like the color. I really, really enjoy the color of this bird because it sounds like a, those two units, they, like I told you. The Yamaha and uh, Alessi sounds phenomenal. Are actually, that's the reason I bought it. And believe it or not, I bought this first because I always try to achieve that kind of 80 sound. And I was working in the mixing and then that happened. And then I did my research and then everybody told me, bro, Bahala Village Bird is way better. Sounds way better. Well, they say it sounds way better. For me, it sounds, both sounds really great. Like, I know, I, I, I know, I repeat myself, this is more like a lexicon, I love lexicon too, but that's a half the problem. That's the reason I prefer that vintage bear and not this one. And guys, from Agritone, I guess that's the name of the, I, I'm pretty sure that's the name of the brand. Guys, if you see this video, please change this completely because that is a, a no-no, you know, for, for working and Check this out. My computer, I know, is a old, is a is an, an old Mac Pro, but check this out. It's not that slow. I have 64 gigas of RAM. I have six core, two plus 2.4 gigahertz. It's like a it's like a 12 core. So come on, this old computer for 2012 is still very very uh faster than the regular iMac right now so it's all but it's not a slow computer and that's all for today i hope you really enjoyed this video and remember if you want to sound very sick underground necro and very true metal <laughs> A uh, river that give you that kind of vibe, that kind of that kind of 80s vibe like this too is gonna help you a lot. Okay. And before leaving, let's see how the whole mix sound with only the with the Bajala, Okay. Oh, I totally forgot. You know, please don't forget to subscribe, to give me a like, you know, to share this, to comment too, because that's gonna help me a lot to roam this little channel. Okay. So bye guys and listen to this. Just my turn.